Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you another movie review. This time we're going to be talking about Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. And I did review the uh, first crossover movie a little while ago, which is in my channel and my movie reviews playlist. And it's also in my latest video, so you can probably just find it if you look at my channel. Um, and here I am to review the sequel. Uh, this one was not directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, however, I know it was uh, directed by uh, Strauss Brothers. And uh, like the first movie, this one wasn't really uh, critically well received at all. Um, and in case he didn't watch uh, my review of the first movie, I just want to say again that I'm a huge fan of uh, both franchises, especially the Predators. I just find them to be very interesting, uh, very interesting species. And the aliens are fun, you know, and entertaining and somewhat scary to watch at times. Um, but for me, the Predators always stood out as being far more interesting and actually, like, somewhat compelling because they could actually be characters, not just, like, mindless, you know, like, killing machines. Um... <clears throat> And, uh, so yeah, like I said, this this one was uh, another one that wasn't <laughs> critically well received at all. Um, there's even a lot of fans that heavily dislike it. Um, but what do I think about it? Uh, honestly, I actually like this one quite a bit. Um, some people might be surprised by that, but I really enjoyed uh, Aliens vs. Pride Requiem. I got the double feature again here. And then I also have the uh, single copy right here, which I bought when it first came out. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, this one uh, in the story takes place pretty quickly after the first one ended with of course the chest burster uh, coming out of Scar's corpse, bursting out of Scar's corpse and it causes this uh, crash landing on Earth and this whole small town to be infested. And uh, this sends a lone predator named uh, Wolf to, uh, you know, we don't really know exactly, but you know, the idea is that he's there to like clean up the infestation things like that um yeah so it's a pretty simple story and meanwhile we have uh some human characters of course um we have dallas he's our lead he's a recently released convict um you know he's coming home and then we have uh you know we have a sol female soldier returning to her family then we have uh, john ortiz playing uh sheriff of the town and we also have uh, Dallas's younger brother Ricky um, who is in the middle of a love triangle with uh, Jesse who's uh, the girlfriend to uh, you know a typical uh, jock idiot <laughs> um, but Jesse the love interest of Ricky she's played by Kristen Hager who I really loved it on being human and such so it's kind of fun to see her in this even though she's in more of a stereotypical role um, yeah, but that's basically the story, you know, it's uh, the small town caught in the middle of this. So, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, I, I actually do like this one quite a bit. I remember seeing it in theaters back when it first came out in 2007. Um, I think I actually seen one of the last showings for it at my uh, local theater. Um, I went with my dad, which is an interesting movie to go with here, uh, you know, father too, but... Um, we went late at night too, I think it was like one of the last, uh, like I said, one of the last uh, showings I had, and it was a late one, so that was fun. Um, uh, do I like this one better than the first? Uh, you know, maybe not. There's things I like about it a, a lot. There's even things I love about this one. But the overall quality of the first AVP movie is probably superior, you know, when it comes to production and uh, just the way the environment looked and uh, certain actors in it, you can tell, are a little bit higher. Um, but I think there's a lot to enjoy about this one, too, actually. And like I said, I'm a big fan of the Predators, and I love the wolf predator in this movie. He completely, uh, you know, made the movie for me. Um, he had a really cool look. They went back to that, you know, more lean type of design for the Predators. Um, he, besides that elder at the end of the first one, I think he is, uh, you know, along with the one at the end of Predator 2, I think um, Wolf is probably the most experienced Predator we've uh, seen in a movie, especially in action. Um, so it was a real treat to see that. Um... I know some people had a problem with Wolf in the way, like, oh yeah, he's supposed to clean up the infestation and uh, not let anything get out about it, but then he, like, you know, skins and hangs a human from a tree. Um, I watched this with my girlfriend, by the way, and she thinks that maybe he hung, still hung the human from the tree as, like, a warning for, like, others not to, you know, uh, come around it or something. I don't know. Um, but really, I think I think the Stress Brothers probably just wanted, uh, you know, a human skinned and hung from the tree, so they probably just did it. Um, you know, the writing's a little bit inconsistent, the things here and there. 
um, because Wolf is supposed to be a very exper experienced and uh, fairly honorable uh, predator, so I don't think he just do that to you know, just completely ruin what he's there for. But and of course, you also have the pred alien who's loose, you know, due to uh, you know bursting out of Scar. And uh, the pred alien, he, it looks pretty cool, you know. Um, it has like the mandibles and the dreadlocks, but it's basically like a bigger alien body. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I don't think it was quite as uh, fun to watch as the Alien Queen at the end of the first one, um, but made for a pretty, uh, you know, good uh, final fight, I think. And another big complaint of this movie is that uh, people complain that the lighting's actually too dark, and at times, yeah, it is. Um, I don't think it's, like, impossible to tell what's going on, but I don't think they should have made it quite as uh, dark in, uh, with the lighting as it was. Um, they probably could have brightened up certain spots a bit. And, like I said, I really loved watching Wolf. He has some really, really cool moments in the movie, even just, like, little things. When he gets to the crash ship at the beginning and he sees what happened through one of the other predator, the dead predator's helmets, and just the way they portray, like, his anger, and, like, even when he puts his hand in one of the other predator's bodies, you can hear him, like, groan, like, in, like, sadness a little bit. I thought that was actually really interesting. I love, like I said, I love the wolf predator in this movie. Um... As far as like the aliens go, though, they probably weren't quite as well portrayed in this one as the other film. Um, you know, they brought back back the ridges, which is fine, but they really didn't let them get into as much much uh, action um, as they did, you know, with showing them off in the first one. Um, I thought they could have done a little bit more with them, uh, but you know, I really love the fight scenes showing off Wolf, you know, showing that he can handle all these aliens at a time. Some fanboys are pissed off about that, but in and all the stories, we always hear about these really experienced predators, you know, that are capable of doing this, being, having been through all these uh, really long hunts and stuff like that. So there should be predators like Wolf that can take a bunch of aliens down like this. Um, there's a really cool scene in the sewers where Wolf uses these uh, mines and such, and then he lifts two aliens by the throat. I, I thought that was cool. He also has, like, dual plasma casters, um, as well as, like, this whip weapon, which I wanted to see more of. Um, and as far as like a human character, uh, the human characters go, um, I thought they were all right. Uh, like I said, the actors probably aren't as good quality as they were in the first one, but I found a couple of the characters to be a little bit more likable, um, to have a little bit more life to them. I, I kind of like the Dallas character. Uh, you know, we know he went to prison. He's coming home. He has gone for about three years. We hear mentioned. Um, apparently, it's a like some kind of breaking and entering charge, but he tells the sheriff that he doesn't regret doing what he did. So I feel like there's a story there, I would have liked to have heard that, but, you know, it's kind of weird that he didn't really tell us what happened. Um, I like seeing Kristen Hager in the movie, but she's playing like a stereotypical blonde, you know, love interest. Um, John Ortiz is alright in the movie, he's probably one of the better ones. And uh, the girl who plays uh, the woman returning home to her family, uh, I thought she was an alright character as well. Sort of felt like she was like a nod to like Ripley in the Alien movies or something. So I do think the cast of characters is uh, fine, the main ones anyway. They might have actually been more likable than the ones in the first one, in my opinion. They felt more like real people to me. Um, but as far as like the rest of the cast, like the supporting cast and the minor characters and such, they just felt like characters cut out of like any horror or a slasher movie. Um, it, it, they, they felt like more of like a stereotypical body count, um, you know, besides the main cast anyway. Like they could have just been picked off at any time, you know, nothing really too special about them. They could have been in like any Friday the 13th or Nightmare movie or something. Um, but I did like the main cast, like I said. Um, like I said, there are some fun fight scenes with Wolf. Uh, the lighting could have been better, but I love the final fight scene with Wolf and the Pred Alien. You know, I like the choreography to it. Uh, you know, some people wonder why Wolf took off his mask and his armor and such. Well, some of it was malfunctioning, you know, with his weapons and such. And that's the Predator. You know, they want to be alpha. They want to really, you know, uh, show, you know, how strong they are. But also, uh, I think Wolf would have won the fight. And here's, like, one of the main problems I had with the movie, though, is the cop out ending again. Um, the bomb gets dropped on the city. It turns out to be this whole, like, government conspiracy that they want to contain it and such. The sheriff has killed Dallas, the mother, and the little girl managed to get out, as well as uh, Dallas's brother. Um, but they use this bomb right when Wolf and the Predator Lane are killing each other, just so neither of the fan bases get too pissed off. Um, but, you know, it just bugged me that they won with that cop-out ending again. Um, but I loved uh, Wolf tearing the Predator Lane's tongue out, wrist blades to the head, and the Predator Lane, get, like, gets him with the tail. 
But I feel like uh, Wolf's probably survived like an injury like that before, so I feel like if the bomb uh, didn't go off or something, um, I feel like Wolf might have actually been able to survive. I would have loved the ending if uh, Dallas and others ended up in the woods like they did after they crashed. Then maybe, uh, even if the troops still confronted him, maybe Dallas could see Wolf from a distance and him flying off on another invisible cloaked ship or something. I think that would have been cool. Because Wolf, uh, first he hung Dallas up in the gun store, but then he seen Dallas could actually handle himself, and they sort of share this look when uh, Wolf goes up to the roof at the end to confront the Predalien, uh, and Wolf just sort of lets him go. Because he probably seen that Dallas is actually somewhat, you know, like honorable or capable or worthy anyway. Um, it was like a small moment, not as, not as like emphasized as uh, Scar and Lexa in the first one, but I still kind of like that. So I would have liked them to go a more, uh, you know, have an actual ending instead of just you know going the safe route and uh, you know i watched the unrated version there's definitely some uh, gruesome stuff in it you know like we see like these bunch of chest bursters and like pregnant mother's stomachs and then we see like a kid uh you know getting like a face hugger and chest burster coming out of him and such with his dad it, it's some of it's kind of harder to watch even for me it's a little bit uncomfortable even though i've seen a ton of stuff it's not so much the gore it's just like the situations like that um, my girlfriend didn't really enjoy that part too much, understandably, but, you know, if you're used to the genre, I think you, you're going to kind of come to expect things like this, and really, uh, you know, if this is really happening, you know, kids and unfortunately pregnant mothers want to be, you know, safe, but the gore effects themselves are pretty good, but like I said, it would have helped if the lighting wasn't quite as dark in certain spots, but I didn't think it was impossible to see like other people do. Um, but yeah, overall, I actually really, really like this movie. Um, I'd, I'd probably give it like a B, B plus, right around the same as uh, the first one, I think, for me. I have problems with it, but I do like some of the main characters a little bit more than the first one. I love the wolf predator. Um, I, debate, I debate which one I like more between him and Scar all the time. Um, the only thing I might like more in the first movie is, like I said, the environment and the how the queen was used. I like the queen a little bit more than the pred alien. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is a really enjoyable film. I don't know why so many people hate it. Um, yeah, you got some like typical slasher stuff in there, but I think there's a lot to enjoy about it, too. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this one. Um, respect my opinion. I'll respect yours. Follow my Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. And that's right, Super Bowl Sunday, I'm talking about the aliens and the predators. <laughs> um, but let, let's go to New England, right? That's just me anyway, but... Um, yeah, so I'll be on maybe late tonight for my Black Sails review, if not tomorrow, uh... Like I said, uh, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.